We have a wide variety of study programs uh, at Aalborg University, all taught entirely in English. Uh, you can find um, all of them on our website www.studyguide.aau.dk. Some of the programs are taught at our main campus here in Aalborg, while some, some are taught in AAU Copenhagen and some in AAU Espia. You need approximately 7,500 Danish kroner uh, for living expenses each month. Uh, this includes rent, transportation, insurances, laundry, food, uh, books and other study materials. And you might need a little more for social activities. You can apply for accommodation at all uh, our campuses, um, but the availability varies. Greatly. In Alba and Espia, it's usually possible to get a room, while it can be a bit more difficult in Copenhagen. You can apply for accommodation as soon as you've been admitted or conditionally admitted. And all um, of the accommodation offices uh, work on a first come, first serve basis. Okay, thank you. One last question. Could you give me more information about the Master's Environmental Management and Sustainability Science? I think I'm not the best person to answer those questions. Perhaps you should go to the department, it's at Skibrogel 5, and I can set up an appointment for you to speak with a current student there. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Every semester we will be given a, a project group that you will have to do. This project is worth 15 ACTS, which means you will have to spend a lot of time uh, doing this uh, project. But this project will also be given a, a group room where you can work, like this one, where all your group can come and, uh, and spend time uh, during the project. Uh, this project you will be given the opportunity to work with real problems and uh, real companies and also if necessary you can go abroad to collect data for a project. Lectures are, are given in, in different ways. It depends on the topic. Some lectures are, are quite classic, you can say, with a, a professor using PowerPoint to, to explain a subject, and, and some are more interactive with the students interacting on a certain topic or with the students and the researcher in commonly uh, developing some new knowledge related to the topic. All uh, lectures are research-based, meaning that uh, Teachers are only teaching within a subject that they are doing research within, which give a, a very new knowledge, uh, updated knowledge, uh, very motivated uh, lecturers, uh, because they are they're explaining, they're teaching what they do research within. In a, every day, you can say, students uh, are, are required to prepare, uh, normally five hours for a lecture or something like that and giving relevant text uh, research based on topics which are within uh, basic knowledge or within cutting edge knowledge depending on, on the course. Well if you have an, a specific topic that you would like to, to investigate or work with during your studies then the possibility, the most obvious possibility is to do that within the project work. 
in each semester, half of the time uh, on the two first semesters are, are about the, the, uh, the topics, uh, is, you can say the project work, where you have an opportunity to work with the topics that you find most relevant. In the beginning of each semester we form, uh, or students form, uh, project groups depending on their interests. And this uh, concentration of, of, of study activities related to, to uh, topics makes very, 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 you could say, engaged students, students that are, that are working within something that they found very interesting. So there are plenty of opportunities to work with something specific, a uh, topic that you would like. Typically you can have, uh, well you can say EMSS is a very informal uh, research environment or program environment. So you can often just go to a researcher uh, that you know or have heard of uh, within AAU and then have a talk about how to make this a, a, a project uh, topic and how to formulate it in a way that it makes it very interesting and makes it possible to, to reach the learning objective for this uh, project module. Well, you have a plenty of opportunities to work with uh, external companies and private companies and, and authorities uh, in this EMSS program. We typically do that in the projects, the students' uh, project work, where we have companies uh, that are proposing uh, topics to work with. It can, for instance, be uh, bigger consultancy, consultancy companies like uh, Kobe or Rampel, but it could also be private companies like Siemens Wind Power or Grundfos, uh, who are asking for students to, to investigate some certain topics that you, or you can say that falls within the environmental management discipline. Uh, if you want specific uh, reports and would like to see how it's done previously, then I will recommend you to go to Dorte Holmgaard, who is the uh, study secretary for the environmental management and sustainability science. She is just living, uh, or she, her office is just across the, uh, the road, so I'll show you the way in the, in the moment. But have a good luck with your environmental management students. We are looking forward to see much more of you. A good way to start your studies is by getting an overview of the courses that are taught in EMSS. Uh, our courses are ac accessible through uh, a software called Moodle. Uh, you will find the instructions on how to prepare for each lecture and all the reading material will be there. So this means that you will not have a lot of expenses for books and other literature because it's, uh, it's all uh, articles and things which, the, uh, which are put in Moodle and you can download them from Moodle. The MSS students become like children to me because it's so they can come to my office and ask everything and I will reply all the best I can. So I hope you will enjoy your stay here with us in your study and enjoy your studies. Okay, bye. See you. <laughs>